Hello everyone, guys. Bitcoin is standing currently at the very important resistance, 31.2, and very important support for us right now. In the very short-term perspective, it's actually the support from the, this is just a very important order block right here, and this is the main important support that we really don't want to break. If we break it, then the road will be open for a lower retest. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video is actually not Bitcoin. Uh, what I want to talk to you about is altcoins and whether I am actually scaling out of the altcoins and actually going into Bitcoin, considering that normally we see Bitcoin go absolutely parabolic and only then within a few months, altcoins actually catch up. So let's talk about this and whether I'm buying altcoins right now or not and which altcoins I'm actually buying or not <laughs> and guys if you appreciate these updates then please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you're always notified when i make a new upload quickly before we talk about the old coins uh let's quickly discuss this because really when it comes to bitcoin it is a bit boring right now and a lot of people are calling for a big correction um but the sentiment is starting to change now uh, there's one trader who is actually saying that you know a big bitcoin bull market is pretty much beginning and says that the sentiment is far from being overly bullish and that that we are standing literally at the very beginning and I mean it kind of makes sense because if we look at the weekly chart and for once we zoom out then we're gonna see that once we actually break 31,000 this level right here which has been very important support for us previously and once we actually close above it this actually triggers kind of a bull market because like technically because we move into back into super bullish territory and this is what everybody's also talking about about 31 500 so this is what we really want to break so that's why that's why we're consolidating and potentially gaining some power to actually break this level so the same thing here which is also quite bullish we've seen so many different entities joining in onto the party of etf applications etc and right now we are seeing one of Europe's largest asset servicing groups has recently granted the license by the financial market regulator uh, in France to provide crypto custody services in France. So this is also quite like there is so much FOMO in institutions right now that they're saying, OK, BlackRock is going to be getting an ETF. So everybody needs an ETF right now. So and then the same thing, they need to understand that if institutionals are going to be actually gaining access to crypto and Gary Gensler potentially at least doing something good and giving the spot Bitcoin ETF to, to the institutionals, other institutionals worldwide understand that crypto is actually here to stay. So this is this is good. And uh, also before we talk about what actually is pretty cool uh pro shares bitcoin futures etf racks up biggest weekly inflow in a year just to give you a perspective as to what is happening if you're still doubtful <laughs> uh, and pro xrp lawyer thinks that bitcoin might reach three hundred thousand dollars and there is his analysis as to why and quite frankly i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised to see bitcoin even at five hundred thousand dollars considering that there are so many institutionals coming to play here and if you're going to analyze a very interesting piece by econometrics that this is right here the correlation we will see that bitcoin has lost its peg to a high risk asset such as s p 500 and nasdaq it is correlated kind of it has trend similarity to gold but besides this it's on its own <laughs> so if it is on its own Guess what might be happening for it when it actually the ETF comes around and trillions of dollars will actually gain access to it. As somebody pointed out that even all of these institutions would allocate 0.5% to Bitcoin or something like small around 1%. This would actually put Bitcoin even potentially above gold, which is absolutely crazy. Guys, I mean, we're standing at something. I mean, that's why I keep accumulating Bitcoin. But okay, let's talk about um, altcoins and whether we should be actually scaling into the altcoins right now because a lot of people uh, or we actually should be selling them for Bitcoin just because of Bitcoin dominance. If we're going to take a look at uh, Bitcoin dominance uh, chart... Uh, there it is then we're gonna actually see that it has skyrocketed to about 51 percent and very important resistance is coming in at 52 percent so and usually this happens before the bull market so and a lot of the times people say that you have to be riding the wave in bitcoin 
and you know you have to dump everything else and that's why we actually see that bitcoin in terms of returns this year has outperformed altcoins and usually altcoins are the ones outperforming bitcoin so uh, a lot of people are saying that you have to be selling everything that you have and being in bitcoin then subsequently once we actually hit something as crazy as potentially you know hundreds of thousands of dollars right here let's say 200k somewhere in this vicinity and then you have to sell bitcoin go into ethereum then once ethereum pumps then uh, you take your money out of ethereum and you actually put it into the old coins so first things first guys i want to tell you two things and these are the two things that you probably want to remember uh, and these are which altcoins am i personally buying and number two whether this narrative is actually true let's start with the latter so in my personal humble opinion when i analyze correlations between uh, ethereum altcoins and bitcoin it used to be like it, especially one cycle ago that first bitcoin is gonna pump then ethereum then everything else and this effect still exists but it is becoming much, much smaller as even though we're seeing big dominance from Bitcoin, other altcoins are actually becoming pretty big as well. And Ethereum itself is pretty gigantic. So it is becoming more, you know, of its own kind, so to speak. And so are bigger altcoins out there. Therefore, this kind of an effect is becoming smaller. Therefore, by actually doing all this manipulation, trying to time Bitcoin, then trying to time Ethereum, then trying to time all the altcoins, uh, the actual potential benefit of this is, is shrinking. And therefore, I mean, and there still is risk that you're not going to time the market right. So therefore, in my opinion, it's best to always accumulate what you believe is best in my opinion 50 percent actually right now more like 40 percent bitcoin 30 percent let's say ethereum or even 40 percent and then 30 to 20 percent goes into altcoins and that's it even though some of them might underperform for some time but you're not trying to time the market because in my opinion with this shrinking gap and this shrinking amount of extra profit you can make by trying to time all these different assets i think it just makes no sense so now let's talk about which altcoins i would be personally investing in which altcoins i'm actually currently personally investing in and certainly well B ethereum being the biggest one and i think that ethereum also i've said this before and probably people are hitting me about this <laughs> for this but i think that ethereum is gonna with time actually outperform bitcoin in terms of return percentage wise and maybe even market cap but not very soon so now let's talk about uh old coins that i'm actually holding so certainly arbitrum slowly DCing for a small 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 percentage of the old coin bag that i'm holding same thing goes for ton coin very small percentage polygon bigger percentage i think that polygon still very strong binance coin i'm quite careful about it but still dcaing slowly into it and it's currently standing at a very important support but binance coin had, this one is risky but that's why it also can mean that it's very very cheap considerably you know arguably so cosmos huge potential one of the best bets i had in the previous bull market was cosmos same thing goes for chain link same thing goes for near protocol same thing goes uh, for polkadot same thing goes for xrp i mean xrp we've spoken about the potential for xrp it's actually pretty crazy like if you ask me if they win it could put xrp somewhere in the vicinity of ten dollars in my personal humble opinion if xrp wins and right now there is a huge chance xrp will win um, against scc same thing goes for tron not the most popular one but still i still dc slowly into it v chain amazing opportunity in my opinion cardano still an amazing opportunity right now and the price is crazy even though with gary ginsler and everything they're doing i think it's all just short term the next bull market all of these will explode in my opinion next thing e-gold of course stellar lumen even neo yes it's an old dog but nonetheless pancake swap uniswap decentraland op token uh also pulse also BitTorrent, but a very small, 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 tiny amount. Um, then HBAR, uh, Ape, uh, Shiba, and Dogecoin. Certainly, I have to go for some Solana, even though there probably is some still very big danger looming around from the FTX bankruptcy proceedings and, you know, a lot of potential dumps and selling pressure coming from those proceedings. So, but still, fundamentally, an amazing investment if you've put that 
uh, danger and that risk that I've just mentioned aside. And Aptos, uh, certainly a good investment. So everything else is, you know, on a shitcoin side, in my personal humble opinion. This is the list that I'm personally DCAing into slowly, bit by bit. And once Bitcoin maxes out, once actually I start selling Bitcoin, if any, we'll see what's going to happen with the dollar. I don't really want to exit into something that is crumbling. So therefore, maybe I will not even be selling anything in the next cycle. We'll see. In the previous one I sold and uh, actually sold into some old coins, which actually gave me an extra pump. But again, I think that this window of the difference is going to be closing and it's going to be becoming more dangerous than beneficial. But I'm going to keep you guys updated and certainly check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin with proper strategies and proper risk and money management. You're going to learn a lot. And certainly tell me down in the comments which old coin do you think I've missed, which is going to do 100x in the next bull market. And guys, peace and love, stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.